Hey everyone, Antonio here from HobbyParts.com and today I have a really neat product to show you. It's the latest and greatest quadcopters. Uh, these quadcopters are from Aerosky. Uh, I mean, they're, you know, they're a decent sized quadcopter for you guys wanting to do FPV for you guys that are just like me and really just want to mess around with quad quadcopters. Um, in the past, I really never quite liked them. Um, you know, I wasn't, you know, I didn't see myself having fun with them, but ever since these came in and just how stable they are, which I'm going to be demonstrating a little bit later and how great they fly really, you know, let me enjoy this quadcopter. This quadcopter is running the uh, MWC board and it is using the version 2.0, uh, depending on which uh, version we have them in ready to fly ARF and I believe kit version. I'm not sure if they are offered in kit version. I can't remember right now, but they are offered in ARF and ready to fly. Obviously here I do have the ARF version. I am running my own radio and my own receiver and my own battery. Um, battery I'm using today is a Gen Zace uh, 25C, nothing special, 2600 milliamp. Uh, stock I believe if you do get the ready to fly is a 2200. Uh, 2600 gives me exactly 10 minutes of flight time. Uh, that is with no payload. Obviously if I put a GoPro on there it's going to be a little bit heavier so I may get a little bit of less flight time. And like I said, uh, these quadcopters are just great right out of the box. They come with a full set of LED lights installed on them, uh, colored, I believe, uh, red and white. Uh, white is your rear, uh, red is your front. You could also switch that if you wanted to uh, by reversing the channels, or you can pretty much make you know anyone be front or rear. Uh, the front blades are standard uh, orange. Like I said, you can switch those around if you want, but standardly, you know, on a quad, uh, your colored blades are in the front. Uh, one thing I do want to mention about this quad that I did notice, I don't know if it's just this um, sample I have here or if it's going to be the whole production we have, but the board, I notice it's kind of ma ma mounted sideways. If you put a GoPro on, the helicopter is going to be, or the quadcopter is going to be flying forward and your camera mount is here. So it's kind of not going to work out. Uh, what I'm going to be planning on doing, like I said, I don't know if it's for this one or the whole production uh, samples we have, but what I'm going to end up doing is switching this board here and turning it around. All you need to do to do that, it's very simple. Take out these four screws. The hardest thing that I really uh, you know, think it's gonna be is just soldering. It, everything is soldered to that board on the bottom, as you can see. So when you flip that, you're obviously gonna have to re-solder uh, all uh, six of these connections, or not six, eight of these connections. But like I said, it's not really a big deal. Um, I don't mind doing it. This helicopter, I have uh, crashed a lot. You can see the blades have scuff marks on them. I've lost a nut on the blade, just put a regular nut on there. And pretty, I'm going to demonstrate right now how great these quadcopters fly. All right, one thing I also want to mention is this: these boards stock out of the box. They come pretty much set up for beginners. Uh, so, you know, you don't have as much throw. Your gains are somewhat high. What I would highly recommend you guys doing is going to MultiWii website. It's, all, it's also going to be included in the manual uh, where you can go. You can go download the software. Uh, RC groups have you know, tons of uh, uh, blogs just talking about how to set these boards and really to help you out uh, if you guys do need help. But like I said, you can download the software, really adjust the board to your liking. And this one here I have set up to my liking and my style. And you guys can see it's just very very stable we have a gusty wind here today and the quadcopter really doesn't care about the the wind at all for you guys wondering if this quadcopter will carry a gopro yes it will carry a gopro without any problem whatsoever has more than enough power You can see I don't have it set up too aggressively, uh, but it's a, uh, you know it's aggressive enough to you know have it kind of turn on a dime if if you if you really want it to. And for you guys that are wondering if this heli or if this quadcopter will flip, yes, it will flip. Once again, you will have to go to the settings and uh, adjust all that once again to your liking. So don't kind of expect it to flip right out of the box. Um, like I said, it's set up for a beginner, but you guys can see here. It's very, very stable. And here we have a quadcopter number two here in the picture. Tony has the green one out there. Not only does it have the uh, green uh, gear or green uh, booms, but as well it has the green lights in the front, as you guys are seeing.
know, I'm glad I actually tried out these quadcopters because like I said before, I really didn't, um, you know, believe in them. I didn't like them. I couldn't see myself enjoying them. But let me tell you, I really, really enjoy these things. I have just tons of fun. One thing I like about these is the LEDs already come installed. So for you guys wanting to do some night flying at home, it's great right out of the box. No, you know, you don't need to solder anything. You don't need to buy no extra lights. It's ready to go right out of the box. It can scare your neighbors, you know, they'll probably be calling someone saying there's UFOs out there. We'll do a little bit of hovering here so you guys can see really how stable these quadcopters are. Oh, the auto. Yes, also one thing I want to mention, if you guys um, have a fifth channel available, you can put that on a switch and activate the self-leveling feature on these quadcopters. That's, that would be really nice if you guys are doing aerial footage, uh, FPV, anything like that. Let's do a punch out here uh, to forward flight. So right from a hover, straight to forward flight. Check that out. One thing I would notice with a lot of quadcopters, that, as I'm going to demonstrate here, this one obviously doesn't do it, but uh, sometimes when you're descending and you lower your throttle, you get them kind of countering themselves and they start wobbling. So here it goes. It's a very minor wobble, as you guys saw. Very, very minor. Doesn't really affect anything. If I really tweak the board, I could probably get that out, but let me demonstrate it again. It's not bad at all. I've, I've seen quadcopters fly. A lot of other ones, and when you bring that throttle down a lot, they just start wobbling pretty bad. So here, let me land it and uh, end this review. One thing I do want to mention right out of the box, if you guys are like me, you don't like reading manuals. I hate reading manuals, so as soon as I got this quadcopter, I went over to Tony and said it didn't work. Uh, reason was I needed to arm and disarm the motors. As you can see here, uh, when they are disarmed, they are gonna start running. That is perfectly normal. So don't go over and mess with your trim. You do want that. Uh, that's also a big reason why the quadcopter doesn't really wobble when I pull down the powers because kind of they're always on. So in order to arm them or disarm them, however you really want to look at it, your rudder all the way to the left. I don't know if you guys can see in here, there's a little LED. One of them is green, and when I disarm them, or arm them, you're going to see there, the yellow light com comes on. That means they're ready to go, and you can see they start spinning. So once again, disarming the motors, full left, arming, full right, and you're ready to go. I mean, that's pretty much it. These quadcopters are tons of fun, as you guys saw. Fly times are incredible with this 2600. If you want to put in a, bitter, a bigger battery, sorry, by all means, go ahead. Uh, put a bigger battery. If you want to do GoPro, aerial, whatever you want to do. If you guys would like to know more details about these models, please be sure to check them out at xheli.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time.